This is the situation when I connect two pumps in series. series. In series. Series connect. What is the meaning of series? The output of the first one goes into the is input. the input of the second one. Mm. The output of the first one will be the input of the second one. For example, this one is 60 psi, 5 gallons. And this one should be exactly 60 psi, exactly 5 gallons. The same. If you connect pumps in series or parallel, especially series, the pump should be exactly the same. Exactly the same. And, and, the centrifugal pump, the diameter of the centrifugal pump should be exactly the same. The diameter of the impeller should be exactly the same. Right, because if you have so much coming in, oh. it is just... And you produce cavitation, cavitation. Check oh. in the book. Cavitation Quiz is the question. second one, and you destroy the second one. All right. How much is the output Quiz pressure question. if it I is. connect, if I Did connect the flow meter here and the pressure gauge okay. here? How much should be the reading in the flow meter? 65. No, 120. 120. 120. The flow meter. Oh, the flow 10. Uh. Oh, the flow. This 10? is Five. gallons per minute. Five gallons. Per gallons per minute. So it's Five gallons minute. per minute. Five gallons because it's in? Oh, series. series. In series. And how much should be the pressure here? 120. 120. 120 PSI. Maybe a little less. Finito. Can we want 30 because of the suction or no? Yeah. No. Well, we don't know what the suction is. Ah, we don't know the suction. Oh. Probably is, normally it's not 120. It's a little less or a little more depending on this. Okay. Great, thank you. But it should be around 120. So when you put it in parallel? Oh, yeah. Uh, one more. <laughs> this is? Serious. 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 Both impellers, both housings should be the same. And both motors should be the same. Now you mentioned to do the time delivery. Oh yeah. Pay attention. Time delivery. Really? Both pumps should start at the same time? No. Mm. Which one start first? The, the, the bottom first one. one. This first one. one. Yeah. The field. And this one? Second. Okay. Too much later? No. no Half no. a second, it's a, a second. fraction of seconds later. Why a little later? So it doesn't run dry. Yeah, you can't In order dry. to avoid that this one start dry. dry. If that one start, First one, I supply water, and the second one, 100% sure, I start with water at the input. You like it? How you start the second one a little later? Time delay with relay. With a time delay relay. I don't have, I don't want to explain again the meaning of time delay. But you can check my videos. <laughs> <laughs> but right? I, I have a question yeah, on the time. <laughs> so in the installation of the time delay relay, you install it in the first one or the second one? In the second pump. That's in the, the second pump. The Excuse me? You, you start on the one you want to delay. No? The time delay yeah. relay in the second pump. Yeah. To, to avoid that the pump so, right. so both pumps will receive the signal at the same time, but because Correct. of the time delay. Because the time de delay relay is calibrated 20 milliseconds, that one starts 20 milliseconds later. That's simple. You remember that the time delay relay, they have two spots? One to calibrate the time, and the second one the interval. Yeah, check my electronic book. <laughs> All right, good, papas. Yep. Yeah. This is for series. series. More, nice, no? More psi. More psi and more head. 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 Okay, we are going to connect parallel. We are going to connect two pumps in What's parallel. That? Two pumps in parallel. What is common when the pumps are in parallel? Pressure. Common, in parallel. Uh, the suction side. I am going to install here. Just an individual connection. That's what I was thinking. Uh, professor, instead of having two outputs from the fuel tank or from the water tank, could you have one output yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, I'm going to it. <laughs> you create a manifold. And now you have the discharge here. This is half, for example, this is uh, one inch and one inch. 
How much should be the diameter of this? Minimum? One inch. Two inches. <laughs> Two Two inches. inches. Double flow. Double flow. Because otherwise it'll be a pressure. It'll be stuck. Double flow. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. This pump should be? 60. It should be? And five gallons. Okay. How much is the output here in pressure? 60. 60. And the flow? 10. 10. The flow? 10 gallons per minute. Yes or not? Yes. And here you can install the pressure gauge and the flow meter. Professor, so if the, the output from the manifold was too small, what would be the effect? Oh, you produce, you produce back, back, pressure. back pressure and you destroy the impeller. Mm -hmm. oh, be careful with that. The diameter should be double, no? You remember in the exhaust pipes, when you, you, when you put together both, both engines in one pipe, it should be higher than double. Because that double Correct, to avoid back pressure. And once again, in this design, you need a time delay relay? No. No. No, no because they suction at the same time. Independent mm -hmm. from the tank. This is this is a parallel parallel connection. This is a parallel connection. What is constant in parallel connection? The pressure, the pressure is supplied. The pressure is constant. And you double the flow. So nice, you, no? You yeah. use like a parallel connection for like a, a shower and then like. For a, example. A sink. Yeah, element where you need more flow. Okay. But normally, in general, you need is more head or more pressure. Oh, okay. 